Hello, Virgo. <laughs> Hi, Virgo. <laughs> so, welcome to your reading. Let's get straight into your message. Um, I'm excited. I was conflicted about whether I wanted to go straight into your reading or begin somewhere else, but we are prioritizing Virgo. Virgo deserves to come first. So let's see what's going on with you. Um, it's so interesting because I'm also seeing this energy of like uh, trying to decide, like picking and choosing your battles here with the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands and I'm seeing this energy of like picking and choosing your battles, trying to decide whether you want to go head to head with something. And I feel like your intuition is intrigued, but I feel like your logical mind is like, no, let's stay focused. Let's stay grounded. Um, it's actually very interesting because intuitively you could be, um, this is interesting because part of me wants to say there's a separation between the intuitive body and the emotional body here and the different reactions that you're having. And then also the logical body and then like the earth, like the earth grounded body. Like I see like all of your bodies coming into play here and you maybe being at odds with yourself in terms of how you're reacting, how you want to react to something. You could also be seeing yourself. You could be seeing a version of yourself acting out in life and you could almost be seeing it from like an outside perspective and you could be examining it. So you could be in a really, you could be in a heavy place of contemplation right now it's either I'm seeing multiple little, I'm seeing multiple storylines. Like you could be in a place of contemplation. See, yeah, Virgo's energy is very split. <laughs> the Virgo's energy is very split right now. Um, you guys have a lot going on. So some of you could be in a place of contemplation where you are looking at yourself. You are doing the work right now. Shadow work, healing work, or, and so you're examining like parts of you that lash out when you get triggered. You're examining that and understanding where that comes from. From a compassionate place, trying to figure out how you can how you can confront those parts of yourself and bring those parts of yourself healing. Another thing that I'm seeing here, though, is you almost being taken out of body and witnessing yourself in a moment of being triggered and being like, whoa, and not realizing that this is like who you are. And it's also not like a woe from a place of like shame it's kind of a woe from a place of awe and amazement because i think that you know seeing this dragon here this dragon is to be feared this dragon is to be honored and this dragon is sacred you know with their fire and their strength and their might they are intimidating, they are powerful, they are commanding. And there's nothing wrong with the dragon just because it breathes fire. There's nothing wrong with you just because you are able to express yourself and you have energy within you and you have opinions and perspectives and you have a voice. And I feel like you're, there's another you know, storyline for certain Virgos where you are seeing yourself in a moment where you are speaking up for yourself, where you are standing up for yourself and there's a bit of an amazement with that. So that's really interesting. I'm seeing lots of things going on here with Virgo. Uh, a lot of you could be in a lot of different places, which is interesting. Sometimes the signs are really united, like everybody's kind of going through a similar thing. And then sometimes people are kind of in different, in different spaces. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> it's definitely, look at that. Five of Swords at the back of the deck. It's literally in like in the Seven of Wands. <gasps> And then look at that, there we've got the dragon again with the Queen of Wands. Like lots and lots and lots of different energy here. But let's look at this, because this is interesting to me. Just off the bat, I feel like I'm going to have to do a reading where I'm talking to so many different people. Um, and I almost want to say that maybe I want to look at these cards independently. Looking at the Page of Pentacles, I see somebody here on a journey um, and it's interesting because I see two things being left behind hmm there's this energy here though okay so here's what I'm seeing actually with the page of Pentacles and the knight of wands do not get turned around do not get turned around because okay 
actually, let me just be honest here because this is what I'm seeing. Make sure that you are not allowing an outside force, an outside energy to trigger you and get you off your path. Because this page of pentacles comes from abundance. This page of pentacles is not somebody that is in, in scarcity. And I don't mean like financially. You could be, you know, anywhere along the financial spectrum. But this is somebody whose heart is abundant. This is somebody who has been nurtured. Their soul is good, okay? So they don't need to trigger people. They don't need to trap people. And this isn't, this is not to say that you're perfect and you've never been through anything you've never had to do any healing we all have been the person that's toxic <laughs> so it's okay but you are not that person right now but the thing is is that there's a potential for you to get distracted by somebody else somebody else's um what's it called when somebody is like taking it out on someone else like um somebody else could be very reactionary somebody else could be really going through it and because Virgo is the healer, you could feel drawn to engage with that person, try and understand what's going on with them, try and engage yourself with this energy. To be honest, I would say leave it alone. And this is not because this person will be intentionally trying to hurt you. I don't see anything like that. But I just see this being a situation where it's kind of like you need to mind your business. And I feel like you know that. And the funny thing here is that I feel like your emotions are the things that you need to listen to. Because I feel like emotionally, you're like, oh, I've been there. I know what this person is going through. I know that the best way to let them work through this is to leave them alone and let them deal with it themselves. But intuitively, because you are Virgo and you are the healer, I see your intuition being like, hmm, but... Because I know this, this, and that, and I'm a healer, and I have this perspective and this awareness, I can help them. Let me help them. Let me go talk to them. Let me, you know, let me go back and forth with them, and let's see if we can work this out together. No. Okay? Today, this is the type of energy where you follow the judgment of your, of your heart. You follow the judgment of your grounded body. This is where you stick with being the earth sign that you are. Don't go into the spiritual realm of trying to be all the healer and everything because it might turn on you. And this is not because I think people are intending to hurt you, but because people are going through things. And when somebody is lashing out, that's the word, when somebody is lashing out, they're not in their right mind. You know, they're going through pain and they can't control um, who they hurt in the process. And you might unintentionally get kind of... Um, hit with this fire you might unintentionally get burned because you're involving yourself in things that are not meant you're not meant to be involved with okay you don't always need to be going up against and you know you don't always need to be the fighter you don't always need to be taking up for people people need to learn to defend themselves sometimes people need to learn to protect themselves and they can they really really can you need to trust that okay Trust that people can protect themselves. Trust that people can defend themselves. Trust that people know what they're doing and that spirit is on their side. Spirit is in all of us. So spirit is guiding this person. Spirit is there talking to this person as they're going through whatever they're going through. You don't need to get involved. It's funny how I wanted to read all these cards separately, but then I just couldn't help but begin to put all the pieces together. It's like, um, and it's just the same way. You've got all these different ways. I feel like in your gut, you know. There's all these different ways that you're going and you could be dealing with a situation where it's like you want to do this, but you want to do this, but you want to do this. And I think that the best thing to do is remove yourself from the situation and focus on the star. This is the only energy that really matters. The star. What is the star energy trying to tell you? You are working towards a dream. You are working towards a wish fulfillment. You've got a focus. Don't be distracted from your focus right now. This is the most important thing for you to be focusing on right now. You are moving towards something incredibly fulfilling, something that is destined, something that is in the cards for you. But it's, you know, it's also something that has totally to do with how emotionally grounded and dedicated you can be to your path rather than always having to be the healer for everybody else. This is only going to happen if you can focus. 
This is only going to happen if you can take care of your things. And actually, with the Nine of Cups here, it's like I see this water coming up. And she's, you know, in this very peaceful, meditative state. But she's also got to be aware because that water can come and wash away her sandcastle and wash away all of her cups. She has to protect what's for her. This reader, she's got to be zoned in in order to be able to really read, in order to be able to really understand. This like star angel goddess, she's got to be in connection with the sky, with the stars, with the water, with the earth in order to really be able to channel and pull these dreams together. If you want your dreams to come true, you've got to be focused on your path. Don't let yourself get distracted being the healer for everybody else. And I get it. I totally get it. But now is a time to focus on yourself. Okay. <laughs> Now that I've lectured, <laughs> let's see, um, let's see, let's see, like, is there anything else from the tarot? We're already 11 minutes in. Time just flies when you're having fun, I guess. Um, let me, let me, let me see. I think, okay, though. <laughs> Wow, look at that. Sevens, sevens, sevens galore. The Five of Cups wants to come out. Yeah, this is a bit of a, this is a big, it's a warning. This is a, this is a warning and this is an, an omen. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's nothing like that. It's nothing to be afraid of, but like be super for real here because this is an energy of like, do not get involved. Let me show you. Let me paint the picture. Do not get involved with other people's problems, okay? You could see somebody fighting a battle, and it could really look like their back is up against the wall. This is not you. This is somebody else. You could see somebody fighting a battle, and it really looks like their back is up against the wall, and you're like, oh no, oh no, and you good-hearted Virgo is like, let me go get them some tools, let me go get some them some weapons, let me go help them. Virgo, don't do it, okay? This is not your fight. This is not your fight. Look what ends up happening. All those tools, all those tools that you went to go gather, they, <laughs> it's used against you. It's used against you. And now look, then you're trapped. Look, and, and what is this person doing? They're off on their own, off to other things. And like, this is really a situation where you have to have boundaries. This is an issue of boundaries, okay? This is an issue of boundaries. When I see this five of cups, what I think about is like the person who invites people to their birthday party who they know are mean to them. The people who asks people to hang out who they know don't like them. And then they get surprised when the person is mean or gossiping about them or makes them feel left out. Or they get surprised when they start to feel insecure and they don't feel worthy. But you know. You know how these people feel about you. Or you know that you've got these boundaries that you're supposed to be sticking with. But you always want to be open-hearted and open-minded and let everybody in. Or you always want to be engaged or be a part of it. But you've got your own journey here. You've got your own thing going on here. I think that this is an issue of boundaries. And this is also an issue of like you finding yourself and your own path interesting enough and exciting enough and worthy enough of being engaged with and celebrated that you're not always in other people's business, okay? You've got your own thing going on. You've got an incredible life path energy here nine of cups the star the high priestess there is wisdom within your grasp there is fulfillment wish fulfillment double wish fulfillment in your grasp in your hands if you can hold on to it if you can find yourself worthy but you have to find yourself worthy virgo you have to believe that you deserve this in order to receive it and sometimes we self-sabotage by putting all of our energy in other people's stuff, that we have no energy to go and wish for these things and hope for these things. All of our time we spend fighting other people's battles, that when it comes time for our dreams, we're so exhausted that we can't. It's time to focus on your own path, the Ace of Cups. 
Fill your own cup. Focus on you. Okay? This is super, super straight to the point. Super straight to the point. Let's get, um, let's get a goddess card. Let's get a goss goddess card because I feel like we need goddess power. We need the goddesses to come and give us some good love. You are going to overcome this. If you haven't overcome this, this could be something you've already overcome and this is just like affirmation. It could just be a matter of time. Um, but it's also like how you spend your time. How do you spend your time? You know, do you spend it thinking about and giving it to people who don't deserve you? So the number is 15. The number is like 33. The number 6 could all be in, um, important. 15, 33, 6. But yeah, how do you spend your time? Do you spend time with yourself? Do you spend time on yourself? How much time do you dedicate towards you? Do you spend all your time engaging with other people because you're too afraid of what might happen if you spend some time alone? Or are you afraid of success? Are you afraid of your dreams coming true? And that's why you put all your energy into fighting other people's battles so that you don't have any time to focus on your own dreams and your own success. Do you feel like you're deserving of success? Do you feel like you're deserving of time off, of leisure time, of joy, of peace? How do you spend your time? How do you look at your time? Who are you in alliance with? Do you feel at home with yourself? Do you, do you feel at peace with yourself? What is your home like? This is like the person who always has people over, you know, because they can't be alone. But then they wonder why they are always exhausted and they don't have time for themselves. Who are you in alliance with? All these connections, all these friendships, all these plans, all these things, all these partnerships. But do they give to you? Do they serve you at all? Are you always battling? You're always going to war for this person. You're ride or die for this person. Why? What is the real value there? What, do you, what is the real meaning there? You're loyal to a fault. Loyal to a fault. Loyal to anyone who needs help. Healer for everyone. Healer for all. You don't need to do that. Spirit exists for a reason. The universe exists for a reason. Their ancestors exist for a reason. You need to focus on yourself. Rebirth. You need to focus on yourself. This is a time for focus. Focus on what you need. The goddesses are clear. Yeah, because you, you've got a fortune. This is what you're not, ex this is what you're not understanding, Virgo. You have a fortune. Like there's some, like you have got good fortune because you're a good person. Like I'm not saying anything about you that's shit. Like you're a good person. So this is like the things that are waiting for you. If you can liberate yourself, if you can focus on yourself, if you can focus on your dreams, if you can focus on your own ambitions, the things that are waiting for you. So much, so much. <laughs> but you need to accept that you deserve it. You need to free yourself, okay? You need to look in the mirror and really, really take a hard, long look in the mirror and ask why you do for others what you don't do for yourself. Ask, do I feel as though I am worthy? If not, why? Let me work on that. Because everybody else is worthy. Everybody else is worthy of help and love and support and success. But what about me? Come on. You've got this. I've been there. I totally, I completely understand. It's literally why I'm talking to you this way. Because I get it. I just get it. Let me just get one more card from Work Your Light and then let's let's wrap it up. Um, okay. One more card for Virgo. And what did I literally, look at that. What did I literally look at that? The High Priestess again. The High Priestess again. Use all of that intuitive power to make your dreams come true. Trust your path. Trust your path. Your path your path go on your path i know you are incredibly intuitive you're virgo you i know you can see everybody else's life paths and you want to help them and you want to guide them no, no no follow your path okay look at the card you got play have fun celebrate don't be so serious don't be so serious you deserve to have fun you deserve to enjoy 
You deserve to relish. You, do, you deserve to luxuriate. You deserve to have leisure time. You deserve to enjoy your life, to be playful, to be fun, to have fun, to be sexy, to go out. You deserve to have a good time. You shouldn't always be fighting battles, fighting, 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 fighting for everyone, helping, 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 serving, serving, serving everyone. No, it's time for you. That's how I started this reading. I said, Virgo should be put first. <laughs> okay? Thank you, Virgo. I will see you guys later. There really is something here around mirroring. So like 18, 18, 15, 15, 48, 48. Like there's something here around mirroring. Okay, there's a mirror happening. The person that you could be getting engaged with that you shouldn't be getting engaged with, they could be a mirror. They could be trying to show you something. Look at that person. What do you see about them that's drawing you towards them? Maybe it's something about yourself that you need to confront. Okay, thank you, Virgo. Bye. I'll see you next time. Oh, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Comment down below if this connects with you. Let me know what's going on. Um, like, subscribe. Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys next time. If you want a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below. Okay, bye.